Hello. I do not want to come across as a heartless bitch. But I just want to speak to you, COVID nurses. Yes, you COVID nurses out there who I've been doing for some months now, quite some time. Cry, crying videos, crying, sobbing tears. <laughs> Stop. Please stop. No. This is really quite unprofessional. I understand that you're under a lot of strain. But since the time of Florence Nightingale and before, what people have tended to do is to keep their tears for bed. Hmm? To keep it when you go to bed. Not to be breaking down publicly. Publicly. The fact is, can you honestly see Florence Nightingale breaking down publicly? <laughs> I've just come from America. I've just come back from the Caribbean. <laughs> no. Do you know that Florence Nightingale sacked nurses who, to put it ever so bluntly, couldn't hack it. This is a fact. Because in those days, there was no anaesthetic. Hmm? You have soldiers with their legs hanging off and people in a terrible state. And so the surgeon has to come to saw it off. Saw it off. No one is ready. No, nothing. And the nurse is there. <laughs> no. Do you know what Florence would did? She sucked them. She didn't. Oh, yes, she did. You're not tough enough to be a nurse. You see, you have to be tough to be a nurse. This is a fact. You can't be emotional all the time. Maybe you are an emotional person, but you can learn self-control. You can. You can learn it. It's difficult, but as we know, Practice, practice makes perfect. Now, I'm speaking to the snowflakes out there, right? I am not asking you to become an iceberg. No, I wouldn't ask that of you, and I don't think anybody would want you to become an iceberg. But I would like you to toughen up a little bit. I have a suggestion. Go into the freezer for just 20 minutes. Because what will happen is you will harden up a little bit. Just a little bit. That's, that's, that's all I'm suggesting. Because what will happen is you will go from being a snowflake to being an icicle. An icicle. And if you're an icicle, you will not disintegrate. At least not so quickly, because anybody who's seen a snowflake, it's just, they just disappear. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, no, it's gone. It's disappeared. It looked like it was snowing, but it's disappeared. That's what a snowflake does so often. Oh, I thought we were going to have snow. It, yes, it was snow, but it disappeared. It disintegrated, you see. And so what you need to do is to become an icicle. A little bit tougher. Hmm? Mm. Yes, a little bit tougher. Because the work that you are doing does require you to be tough. And 
Unfortunately, with British society, we have become more and more emotional. Emotional. Everything's emotional. I think it was. I think it started with bless her, bless her. I do like her, Princess Diana. I think it did start then, where everybody is getting so so emotional all the time. All the time, everybody's getting emotional. Um, and it doesn't help. It does. It actually doesn't help in the long term. You see, being brave means developing a little bit of toughness. I mean, can you imagine soldiers in World War One, World War Two, in the trenches? Can you have you seen? Have you ever seen those films? Historical films of soldiers on the First World War, the Second World War. Have you seen them sobbing and crying? No, 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 they don't. No. When they go to bed, they will probably have a cry. Because tears are meant to be private. They're not meant to be public. Hmm? You've probably been affected by the Middle East because there everybody <laughs> But you see, the, not the nurses. Not the nurses are not like that. Obviously, if you go to a funeral in the Middle East, everybody <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's probably quite good because it's just a, a one off. It's a one off. It's just for one day. Somebody has died. Mother friend, sister, so it's a one-off, you see. But the nurses will not be sobbing and crying in the Middle East, even though they're Eastern. If they went to a funeral of a good friend of the mother, the father, they would be... <coughs> yeah, they would. They would. But you see, that's to get it out of the system. But you can't be spending every day... <coughs> no. No, no, no. It's really about learning to be brave. It's learning to be brave. And it's about toughening up. Not becoming hard as nails. Not becoming like an iceberg. No, it's about a little bit of toughness. A little bit of self-control. And amazingly, I learned 25 years ago that I could do it. I never thought I could do it. No, I was always good. I never had a bit of a sound. I was supposed to be very helpful. I was very helpful. That's what I was like. If anybody showed any sympathy, I was doing it. It must be hard for you now. See, my patience isn't just this. It is hard. But I learnt the hard way. <laughs> And by good advice, because somebody actually, I was going to cry. I was all ready to cry. Mm -hmm. I hadn't not occurred to me to exercise self-control. No, it never occurred to me for one moment. And the person in front of me said, stop it. Don't cry. Don't cry. You're going through a difficult period in your life and you must be Brave, don't cry. And do you know, that was the best advice, one of the best advice that anyone has ever given me. And of course it's difficult, you have to practice. I remember being in the supermarket and I was getting all upset about it. <laughs> I might have been tempted to do a... A YouTube video. Do a little recording me getting upset in the supermarket or outside the supermarket. But I didn't. I remembered. This is the not the time to cry. This is the time to be brave. Gird yourself up. You can do it because it begins in here. I'm not going to cry. Make a decision. I am not going to cry. Do you know when you make a decision? how powerful it is 
when you make your mind up. I'm not going to cry. I am going to be brave. Right? You can have a little cry in bed. Who doesn't have a little cry in bed? Get it out of the system. But not all the time and not publicly. Hmm? And it's the same for everybody, not just nurses. You have to learn. We have to learn in this country to be brave. We can learn. We've forgotten how to do it. We don't know how to do it. And everybody out there, the media, are pumping you. They want you to get on the road. <laughs> and, it's not, it's not really and they're always pumping. They, they, you see, television is about drama. Hmm? It's drama. They want you to cry. They want you to start getting home break again. <laughs> Right, don't. Don't. I saw one lady being interviewed on Newsnight about something or other, all to do with suffering, terrible suffering. And Emily, bless her lovely Emily, was pumping her. And I knew what she was looking for. She was looking for tears. She was trying to get her to break down, for heaven's sakes. Because she felt if she breaks down, then the viewer will be more sympathetic but of course this woman had decided beforehand I'm not going to break down on television I'm going to exercise some personal dignity so she didn't break down but Emily you know Emily she doesn't give up no <laughs> no she doesn't give up no no and she's going in there with the questions she is determined to get some emotion out of it Emotion. They're looking for the emotion. The emotion. They're wanting you to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't say anymore. No. Don't. Don't. Be strong. Gird yourself up. Be brave. And save your tears for bedtime.